Good morning everyone at Lowe and Mr. Jacobs back again. I thought it's about time you had a video of me. Grace you with these stunning looks. Yeah, okay, I thought I'd make a video, let's be honest. Haven't seen you for a while, fantastic to see you. Now, um, my learning today about maths is going to be covering division. Now, don't, 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 don't switch off just yet because this division video and PowerPoint uh, presentation features a special guest that some of you haven't seen for a while. And I think he will bring a smile to your face. So it's worth watching until the end. Still my sweets, actually, by the end of it. But we're going to be looking at bus stop division. It's not as daunting as some of you might be thinking. I think, actually, when you get using it, you'll find it a bit of fun. Certainly, it's something that, if you haven't done for a long time, and I remember I haven't done it since I was at university when I had to come and, and start teaching it again, you do actually forget how to do it. So it's really important sometimes just to refresh your memory of it. And I'm sure by the end of this, if you gave a couple to some family relatives or siblings in your house, if you've got older siblings in particular, you might pause for a second and think, oh, I'm not sure how to do that. I can't remember how to do it. And I think you'll be in a position to show them. And it is quite a fun thing. Fun? I know. I know fun and division doesn't quite go, but I think you'll actually enjoy this. And like I said, there's a special bit of help from Buddy at the end. So well worth a watch just to see that little chap's face again. Hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you soon. If I get lots of work, I did say this to my class, if I get lots of children get back to me, prove that they've done some of this then my next lockdown haircut will be a full-on shave and i'll do it live or well not live a recording for you to see on the youtube channel and that's my promise to you if you can commit to doing some of these works look forward to seeing you look forward to hearing your voices once again and i hope you enjoy the video okay good morning everyone at larwood and we are doing division today bus stop division is the technique we're going to be focusing on how do we sometimes feel when faced with division i know from experience it's not my pupils favorite one this that i've taught often they can look or feel a little bit worried or even shock they're a little bit scared they see the sum on the piece of paper and not 100 percent sure how to solve it we can help you trust me and we're going to show you some techniques in this slideshow here with a little help from a friend from school you'll see him at the end so bus stop division how do buses help me understand division that's a fair question what have buses got to do with maths and division well here i am hair's gone a bit gray my got a tash now that's gone gray since the lockdown a genius i know i can hear you saying that the number to be divided is placed under a bracket or bus stop and it's separated from the number it's going to be divided by so we have 264 in the bus stop going to be divided by 7 okay genius how do you use the bus at the stop to solve something like how many sweets do my classmates get from mr jacob's secret stash ah very wise You've heard about my secret stash, have you? Well, let's have a look. Although I get the feeling I'm going to be a few sweets lighter by the end of this. So we have 264 sweets divided by seven pupils. Yes, that's correct. Correct. You heard that. Just pupils. You're not getting any. Cheers. So, 264 Harry Bows are available for my cupboard. And I'm dividing it with seven pupils. How many sevens goes into our first digit, which is two? And clearly two is less than seven, so no sevens go into two. That leaves us with two to carry over next to the six to make 26. How many sevens into 26? One times seven is seven. Two times seven is 14. Three times seven is 21. So it's three lots. 21 plus 7 is 28. Oh, it goes too far. So 3 sevens is 21. That leaves us with 5 left over, which goes next to the 4. So we've got to 3 sevens of 21, then 28, 4, 5 sevens of 35, 6 sevens of 42, 
Seven sevens are 49. So I've got five left over, so I get seven and remain to five. Oh, look, he's head over heels. He's going to get five sweets. Fantastic. Five left in my stash, all for me. Hang on. So where, I haven't got any sweets. Where are my sweets? Oh, it's you, buddy, is it? What have you done? Unlucky the class wanted me to have them. Oh, right. They tasted delicious. Thank you, kids. Well, thank you for rubbing that in, buddy. Thanks a million. Buddy would now like you to complete these sums. So we have 186 divided by 6, 258 divided by 4, 285 divided by 3, and 848 divided by 7. Freeze the frame, write these down on a piece of paper, and have a go. There are some other questions that have been emailed to you as part of your resource packs that were sent to you on Monday. Have a little go with them. Buddy's looking for support, and he's cheering you on to have a good go. Take care now. Bye-bye.